last month, which is November 2024, marked the 50th anniversary of the death of one of my all-time favourite artists, Nick Drake. And I shall take you back now to 1970 and explain where I first heard Nick Drake. And it was on this album, Nice Enough to Eat, which was a sampler album on the Ireland record label. That one. It was a collection of various artists from this label. As you can see on the back, there's Jethro Tull, and King Crimson, Spooky Tooth, Bloodwing Pig, and that one there is Nick Drake. And this is where I first heard Nick. And the song on here is called Time Has Told Me. And I thought this was brilliant. It really stood out amongst all these other tracks as something slightly different. So I did manage to go out and buy eventually uh, stand up by Jethro Tull and King Crimson in the court of Crimson King, but I didn't get that one there. Why? I don't know. I should have done, but I didn't. So here we are. So last month was the anniversary of his death, and uh, he was only 26 years old in 1975 when he died, 1974, sorry. Uh, and he made three albums, the first one in 1969, the second one in 1971, and his third and final one in 72. Now he never played live, well he did play live, but nothing was filmed, so there's no video of him at all, apart from when he was a small child. Uh, his family videos and that type of thing. Never really played live, he played a handful of live gigs, maybe coffee shops, little clubs, you know, folk clubs or whatever. But, you know, the audience sort of lost patience a little bit because most of his songs were different tunings on the guitar. So he'd spend time tuning the guitar up while the audience sat there. He didn't really communicate with the, with the audience. He's a very introverted personality, so he wasn't really suited to live work, I don't suppose. So... His work was done in the studio. So what I'll do now, I'll just quickly go through his three albums, starting with Five Leaves Left. As I say, this was 1969. I think he took a final year out of university to start and finish this album. And really, really is a great album. Uh, there's the back, The Running Man. It's gatefold. It's a nice picture of Nick there, if you can see that. As you'd expect from Nick, he's generally a very serious looking person. Uh, this album obviously is a, a replica, I suppose you would call it, of the original one. It's even got sort of the blue island in the sleeve there. The label is that version of the 1969 version of the label. Uh, so it's almost identical. But the music on this one is really, really good. You need, to, you need to just check these things out, really. Just go onto YouTube or onto Spotify or whatever. Have a listen, see what you think. Okay, so that's that one, Five Leaves Left. Incidentally, that title, Five Leaves Left, what that means, going back to the old days of when people used to smoke and they had the roll-ups, there was a paper, the cigarette paper was called Risley, uh, here in the UK, I don't know about anywhere else. So you get your Risley paper, put your loose tobacco in and roll and roll your cigarette up. So when you got in the box, when you were down to only five papers left, there was a little note which said, five leaves left, telling you, you've only got five cigarettes left. Hence, Five leaves left. There you go. A bit of knowledge if you didn't know that one. So moving on to 1971, we have Brighter Later. This label was the Pink Rim label, as they say. So I'll quickly show you. 
so on. Okay. Again, this is a great album, but this one I think was a bit more upbeat, slightly got a jazz, slightly jazzier feel, full accompaniment, as this one was. Other musicians were playing with him. Nick's on acoustic guitar and he's an excellent guitar player. He really, really is a great guitar player. Slightly different. I, I play a little bit of an acoustic guitar, but I wouldn't try and learn any of this stuff. Really complicated. So that one's brighter later. The final one, third and final one he made, is called Pink Moon. I'll show you the label on this one. Again, it's got the the blue replica of the original island in the sleeve. And we've got the pink, it's the, again, the pink rim island label. I'll just quickly show you the the gatefold sleeve, a negative picture of Nick there, some of the lyrics there. Lyrically is very good too. Great, great lyrics, great tunes, great melodies. Slightly introspective, sort of, I sort of refer to it as like autumnal. Feels like autumn when you're listening to it. So this time of year, uh, it sounds nice, you know, if you turn your lights down in the evening, get a nice, nice atmosphere, plonk one of these onto your vinyl turntable or your CD player, whichever, and uh, just relax with the sounds. Really, that's how I feel. It's like a relaxing album. And it's very, very tender sound. I love it. So there we go. This has just been like a quick appreciation of Nick Drake. Uh, he was obviously he was not famous in his, in his during his lifetime, and it's only in recent years really is he, he's got he's been made a prominent figure really. A lot of modern artists have quoted Nick as an influence, so it's just a pity really he's not around to see any of this. But these things happen. I know he was uh, he suffered from depression. He was on medication, and I think that maybe was the reason of his death. There was no suicide note, so possibly he got confused with the medication. I don't know, but it's such a tragedy. It's it's almost like Van Gogh, you know, or one one of those great painters who sold one one painting in his lifetime, and then the years later. You're in demand, Nick, Nick Drake, like that very much. Okay, so uh, we'll leave it at there, and I'll uh, just like to have uh, explained about Nick Drake a little bit. I'm going in too deeply. Uh, it's just a, a little appreciation for myself, and uh, I've not really spoken about Nick Drake on any of my previous videos, so this is a first. All right. Uh, I think I've spoken too much now, so uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks uh, for your company on this cold winter's day in December. We're nearly at Christmas, though. Bye-bye.